Um, one other thing I want to ask you is, um, as someone in Iowa, and as a lot of people leaving California right now, why would pe should people consider Iowa to move to if they wanted to leave a state like California? How, yeah, so pitch, Iowa. Pitch um, Iowa to us. Sure. I, well, how much time you got, buddy? <laughs> um, so Iowa's fantastic, uh, you know, situated west of the Mississippi River. Uh, I think we became a state in 1856. Um, We've been ranked like number one by U.S. and World Affairs as like a best state to raise a family. Our cost of living is very affordable. We have a very diversified economy. We need a lot of workers. Uh, we definitely need healthcare workers. Uh, we're trying to we're, we're fighting right now to, to support healthcare worker freedom and just mm -hmm. medical freedom in general. Um, we were able to successfully make some progress in addressing um some of the crazy antics of the teachers union. So we have our public schools will be full time without masks by state law. There will not be a mask requirement in, mm -hmm. in our schools. Uh, we're still making progress on more school choice options. We have uh, a great homeschool law where you can homeschool your child and not have any interference with the government whatsoever. That's great. Um, we are working on continuing to reduce our tax rate. We have constitutional carry. Um, so you, you're able to exercise your second amendment rights pretty right. good around here. A very low crime environment, a lot of fresh air, great natural parks, outdoor recreation. If you like hunting, fishing, uh, hiking, uh, <laughs> maybe our hiking isn't as good as Colorado, but we do have some great state parks. We have uh, right. Maquoketa Caves, Geode State Park. Um, Dubuque is beautiful. Des Moines is, is building a new kind of tech hub. Yeah, um, yeah we my my area they, they called fairfield silicon valley because we had a lot of high-tech uh businesses and like web developers that sort of thing oh, cool. like i said we have that genetic id lab that tests gmo food so uh, we have a lot of in my opinion cutting edge businesses uh with any luck we'll be leading the psilocybin industry um i know there are a lot of iowans that are experimenting with psilocybin on their own yeah. which i think is great uh so we want to encourage that no one needs to wait for the government's permission um, just say you're sorry and, you know, I'll represent you and we'll do your best to bail you out if you get caught. But um, that's it. Most people are using psilocybin responsibly, but there haven't been any issues. Okay. I emailed um, the Department of Public Safety to, or excuse me, I emailed the judicial branch to ask how many like psilocybin related re re arrests have been made in Iowa and they didn't have any figures. So that indicated it had been either very, very few or zero or whatever. So, um, and then we did do the back the blue bill. So um, wow. I think we're going to be relatively free from any sort of violent left wing riots. Um, and then, yeah, just really wholesome community. I mean, waving to your neighbors and just being able to walk around barefoot without worrying about stepping on glass, you know, farmers markets, the state fair, um, the county fairs. We have a wonderful county, county fair, state fair culture. It's just wonderful. Um and it's awesome. So, I mean, I can go on and on and on. I think reasonably fair, but um, I mean, we still do have an income tax, which is something we're trying to fix so we can be more like South Dakota and Florida. Right. Um, our governor did technically have a mask mandate for a short period of time, but she wrote it in such a way that it was totally unenforceable. And okay. she actually said that as well, that she wanted it to be unenforceable, that she didn't want to waste anyone's time with this. Right. Um, so on most issues, our governor has led very well um, relative to the pandemic. And Do you have a good rapport with her? Do you have a good I'm rapport with her? So that was one of the things too. Like as a freshman legislator, I didn't quite realize how important it was to invest in those relationships. It's def definitely the people higher up. Yeah. Thankfully, with the vaccine passport issue, um, I, I, I had three meetings with her in the month of April where we covered some good ground and got acquainted. And um, and I've been more familiar with her staff and things. Okay. So I'm working on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> but um, I, I know she knows who I am and she did like one of my posts on Facebook and we had a really <laughs> great bill signing together. Um, so yeah, I, I'm working on that and, and, and just how relation, those relationships are very, very important and how in all our relationships, we must give like a degree of grace because like for the governor's situation, like I, that was another thing I didn't quite realize how just stressful that must be when you know sure. she ran for office and was elected but she wasn't expecting to be the medical dictator during a health emergency right. and by the nature of the emergency no matter what she does she's going to have a hundred thousand people screaming at her saying she's killing them 
you know, like, and then of course, imagine all the other snakes when you have that much power concentrated in one person, I can only imagine the kind of snakes that are swirling around. And then the very real consequences um, that her actions and decisions carry that. Yeah. yeah, You know, in that situation. So I just give her a lot of grace for just being able to manage all of those competing interests. And basically, like I said, we don't have to agree on everything. We're going to respect Liberty to the greatest extent possible. But what's most important is that we can survive the winter in one piece because, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens, uh, but uh, stay healthy, everyone.